PI voters have handed the Progressive Conservatives and Dennis King a decisive victory. King will be returning as Premier of the province for a second term. The CBC's Kate McKenna joins us live now with more from Charlottetown. Kate, like I just said, a decisive victory. What happened out there tonight? Uh, in the end, it wasn't even close. I'm at PC headquarters right now, which we do expect will get a little bit rowdier in a few minutes when the when the newly elected uh, premier walks in, Dennis King. Uh, now, polls always predicted that this would actually be a, a re-election situation for Dennis King and that the real fight would be the fight for second place. But what it really was was a referendum on how Dennis King did in the last four years. And, and tonight we're hearing that Islanders uh, believe that he did a good job because PEI faced a large number of challenges. I mean, we're talking about Hurricane Fiona, Hurricane Dorian a couple of years ago. We're also talking about uh, an export ban on seed potatoes, which cost millions of dollars for farmers. And of course, the one everybody knows about, the pandemic. So uh, today, Islanders saying, OK, well, we'll give this government another chance, see if he can tackle some of the other problems that we're facing here. For instance, uh, health care, access to family doctors, affordability, uh, the price of housing here is simply skyrocketed. But certainly the mood here at PC headquarters is very happy people uh, you know members of the party walking in they, they suspected they were going to win but now they know for sure a PC majority here on PEI from some of your co coverage I was watching earlier this was one of the interesting things about this race the leaders of the two main opposition parties Greens and Liberals actually running against each other tonight how did that go well, that is where things get a little bit chaotic, to be honest with you. Uh, that was an intentional strategy from the Liberal Party. They wanted to assert themselves and say, no, we should be the official opposition uh, because the Green Party had been the official opposition. Well, the Liberals are now probably going to be, if these results hold, the official opposition, but with a giant catch, their leader lost. Their leader lost to the uh, very popular Peter Bevan Baker, who is the Green Party leader. So we have a strange situation now where the Liberal Party if these results hold, where the Liberal Party will, uh, you know, be the official opposition in the legislature, but their leader will not be in the legislature. Uh, so it could create a, kind of an interesting dynamic. Uh, and, and that is definitely one of the storylines that we're watching play out tonight. Yeah, one of the more interesting ones. They now become official opposition again, but then their leader is gone because he lost to the Greens. All right, CBC's Kate McKenna in Charlottetown.